What up everyone, it's Shane here. So I decided today that I'm going to start showing you guys my server. So here it is. I've only got one other friend online right now. but So I'm going to start doing some Let's Play um, things on this. And this is the first one. So yes, Foxy Grandpa from Spongebob is my password. Alright, so let's see here. This is just a... Uh... So this is my server here. Here's the spawn. And we built this world a couple days ago. Um, it's on survival. We use like mods once in a while or whatever. That's me. What's up? And the texture pack I'm using is called John Smith. And uh, I'll put a link for that in the description if you guys want it. But uh, So I'll show you a couple of places we got here. So first, here's my mansion. Oh. Built this entirely out of jungle wooden planks and spruce wood, I believe. So it's it's pretty nice. Got a waterfall in front. Free boat rides. Oh yeah, and I've got a world guard on, so uh, every time you enter the area, it will tell you, welcome to Shane's Mansion. And uh, so I haven't really done much to the interior yet. It's pretty nice though. Enchantment table my ender chest and everything. All the resources I have, I do get like legitimately though. And then there's an identical second floor with a balcony. Got my little friend here. What's up? Ooh, it's a nice evening. And an anvil over on the side. And then for the, on the third floor here I got like a glass ceiling and like an attic type thing so there's nothing in there yet this is a little observation deck to look around at the world when you're a new player um, and I'm thinking about making this server public so make sure you guys leave comments and uh, if I get enough comments and likes then um, I'll give you guys the IP address to my server so here's um, the shop so I had showcase standalone plugin which used to be like the item would float here and you just click on it to buy it and we've got a money system and everything but unfortunately, the developer hasn't updated that plugin to like 1.5 yet, so I'm still waiting on that. Um, but it's a nice shop once I get things back going. Alright, so, and then this, this building's in progress too. I'm not sure what I'm going to make it into yet. But so, now I want to show you guys my minecart system. So, do, 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 don't need that. So, here's the little subway that I built. Just hit this button, out comes a little minecart. And get off. So now I'm going to take you guys to the house we built in the old server. And it's on a, a huge mountain that I uh, actually imported. It's over there, you can see it. But uh, So you can select to two different places to go to with this lever. Throw your cart down and just hit this button and you're on your way. So I like this a lot. It's the first uh, implementation of any like rail system I've made in a server yet. It's pretty cool. Except these dang sheep get in the way. Get out of your sheep. Pig. And a chicken. Oh, and you can throw eggs to catch things. Let's see if we get another one. Like when you, it's kind of like Pokemon. Like if you throw an egg at a, at a mob, it'll capture it with like a like a 50% chance or whatever of capturing it and turning it into a spawn egg. Let's see if we can go do that real quick. Yeah, so now it's a sheep spawn egg. We'll pick that up. Uh. All right, staircase up, and then if there's anyone following you, you can just run over, hit this lever, of course. No one's following you anymore. And uh, so I just got some random stuff in here, but this is the uh, original house of the server. And uh, I made it in a different world before we updated it all to like 1.5 and everything. And uh, so we just got some cool stuff. We'll go hang out with Ryan in a minute. But uh, I got our, our nether portal there. Got a little enchanting room. And then this is a pretty awesome part right here. Uh, well, this used to be a, a multi multiverse portal that would send me to uh, Nuketown and we'd have P versus P, but I took that out for now. So. I've got uh, a nice painting here, but it's actually my secret hideout. So yeah, and it notifies when people notifies me when people enter. So it's oh 
Oh, who put that there? That's not good. Someone's been here. But anyway, so I got like an ender chest, two chests here. And then down here I'm working on like a little observatory room, but I haven't finished it yet. And then I've got an escape route too, I'll show you guys. Lag, lag, lag. So this leads right to the back of the nether portal. And those two pressure plates, you just run forward and jump right out. And it, you have no idea that it's even there. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. But, um, oh, and then I've got, let's see if we can go all the way upstairs. What's that noise? So this is like outside. We got some farming. Yes, I'm part of the union. And we've got like usually 12, 14, 15 players on this server, but not for now. I don't know why. Oh, that's that's nice. Got some farm in here, but so I'm just gonna warp back to spawn, and I'll show you where else this railway goes. So we'll hit it down and go to the mine. Dude. Skeleton. So now it's just going to take a left down here. Just got a nice red zone system hooked up there. Alright, let's see if we can catch the sheep and pick it up. Yeah! Look at that. Oh, and this this is awesome. This is called Mob Catcher, this plugin that I'm using. And basically, it'll capture whatever uh, mob you want with all of its like information. So, like, if it, if, like, if I had hit this sheep and its health went down, like, and then I threw this spawn egg, it would spawn the sheep with the same color, age, and health, so that's, that's pretty cool. Alright, now we're going into the ravine here. This is the mining area. I got that little, ooh, oh no. I guess I'll get that later. This, uh, this gate prevents mobs from coming in, so it's just a detector rail that'll activate when it comes in. And... Someone hasn't been cleaning up their mine carts after they walk in. I gotta get some dispensers and stuff. Uh, so you got a couple different things here. And then iron gate so no monsters come in. And then you got your mine shafts. So I just found like a diamond the other day in this mine shaft. And basically these mine shafts are at levels where the ores most likely are most likely to spawn. So they're pretty efficient. Got my silk touch on... Wait, which is this? Unbreaking inefficiency. And so, see these. I haven't really. I've only really started this shaft, and this. There's just directions for people to know where they are and stuff. But you could always just hit F3 and know where you are too. But so this is pretty cool. And uh, but so Ryan and I have been in the Nether. We found a fortress, warp fortress. And oh, there's Ryan. Yeah. So he and I earlier were. We're spawn camping all these blaze rods, cause uh, or these blazes, cause we need the blaze rods to make eyes of ender. And uh, then we got some. I didn't think water could be put in the nether, but I guess you can. We got some water there in case we catch on fire. And oh my god, blaze! Oh my god! Let's see how on fire. All right. Oh, and uh, by the way, this this sword is awesome. I used the anvil to make it with a bunch of enchanting books, and I named it Dawnstar from Skyrim. And then the Daedric bow here. So that's pretty, that's pretty legit. Oh, and I got a creeper head, of course. Alright, so now, uh oh. What, did the skeleton, oh, there's a hole there. This, I guess, is Ryan's house, I've never even been here before. Yeah, so the sword rocks. So let me know guys if you want to join the server because it's uh, public, it's cracked, you can join if you have or do not have a Minecraft account or whatever officially and uh, just like, comment, subscribe and uh, be sure to check back and I'll post the IP address later and accept new members. Alright, see you later guys.